Using video on your sales pages isn't just great for stopping the scroll and getting attention. A video on sales pages has been shown to increase conversions by up to 80%. It's also been shown to increase trust significantly, especially when people are featured in those videos. So today, we're gonna to go through five easy ways to incorporate video into your Canva sales page in ways that don't require you to be a video editor or a tech genius. Hey friends, if we haven't met before, my name is Wayne. I am a creative director and a brand designer, and I help coaches and creatives to make a beautiful impact. So today we're gonna to talk about video, particularly video in your Canva sales page. Now I've touched on this before in a couple of previous tutorials, but today we're gonna to look at five different ways to incorporate different types of video into your Canva sales page. And I'm actually gonna show you how to do those really quick and easy in Canva. The first way that you can use video in your Canva sales page really easily is just using videos as backgrounds to different sections of your sales page. So if we have a look at the sales page that I've created here in Canva, just using a blank Canva sales page template or website template, I've included my logo on the left-hand side and a couple of lines of text here. On each of those, I've added the breathe animation, which just makes them kind of ever so slightly animate on that plain page. So if I preview it, you can see the animations of the text as they just have a subtle animation on that blank page. Now to add a bit of interest to this, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use a video from Canva's video library as a background to this slide. So if I go over to the video tab, I am just going to search for background so that I get a range of videos to choose from. And I think I'm gonna just pull something like this, which is a very subtle animation behind this text. Now the combination of that animation of video behind and the animated text immediately makes this piece come to life. And this whole section suddenly looks way more interesting and way more exciting. And it doesn't require huge amounts of animation or for you to actually create a video per se to go there. You can just use a video from Canvas library in the background and it will loop as people watch when they scroll through your sales page. So the benefit of using a video in a background like this in Canva is that you don't have to create any video assets or even upload videos um, from scratch. You can just use Canva's video library, or if you have videos from another stock library, you can use those. It's really easy to create something that adds interest and attracts attention. And of course, you can overlay graphics and text over that video because it's treated the same way that you would a background image in Canva. Things to look out for are that the graphics or text that you put over that background are readable and of course make sure that you check in mobile um, so preview it in mobile view so that you can see that when Canva automatically resizes that video in the background for mobile view the text or any kind of graphics that you have are still readable. Next we're going to look at two ways to include testimonial videos on your sales page. If I scroll down to this next section I've included I've basically just put in text testimonials that I pulled from a previous project. I've got a title, I've got images of the people, a brief testimonial and their names. And then what I've included is just this button that says watch now. And all I've done is I've included those buttons so that we can link from there to YouTube. So you give people the option to watch a full testimonial video if you have one, but you pull out the really important salient points here so that they don't have to do that. They get the gist of it, but they can actually follow that link and watch those on YouTube or Vimeo or wherever you have them hosted. And the way you would do that is to just click on that button, right click, go to link, and then you would paste in the link to whichever YouTube video you want that button to point to. And now if we preview this page, you'll see there's our first page. And on this page now, if you hover over that and click it, it will take you to the YouTube video. So that's an easy way to include video if you have it hosted somewhere else. Now, the other way you can do it, the second way to include testimonials really easily, is to actually embed YouTube videos into your Canva sales page. You do have the option of uploading a video just in the normal upload section here, and you could then include that as a video on this page. But if you have videos already hosted elsewhere, an easy way to do it is to simply scroll down to your apps section, 
type in embed and hit enter and you'll come up with this little tool which allows you to embed all sorts of things into your Canva sales page. If you click on that, one of the first options it gives is YouTube and you can paste your web link here in the box that it provides, click add to design and it will paste in the video here for you. The great thing about doing it this way is that when we preview the video, people will be able to click on this and it will play in this page so they're not sent away from your page, which is always helpful. Now, if I preview this page, you'll see that these videos are now linked to the YouTube video and embedded here, which means that when we click on them, they will simply play really easily on this page and you still have the option to go to YouTube or enlarge them, but it's really easy for people to just click on them here and they will play automatically on your Canvas sales page so you don't send them away from your page. Now, the benefits of including testimonials on your sales page, we've talked about these before. Social proof is so, so important. And these kind of testimonials allow people to, to see people like themselves talking about your product or service or program. And so it makes it real for them rather than just some picture on a web page, but it also allows them to kind of see themselves in those people who have got results. Because of that, it makes it so much more believable than just reading words on a slide that really anyone could make up. Actually seeing people like them saying these things really makes it more believable and adds a legitimacy and trust to the testimonials. Things to look out for is obviously make sure the testimonials are not too long. So you don't want people to have to watch through three minutes just to get a clip of a few seconds that's relevant to them. So edit those videos down if you can um, and make sure that it's really relevant and the important points are kind of highlighted or pulled out where you can do so. The other thing I would suggest is that if you're going to embed the videos from YouTube um, onto the page is add a custom thumbnail in YouTube to your video. That way when it previews on the page it can look really nice and branded and it's not just a kind of random still that YouTube has selected for you. The fourth way that we can use video on a sales page really easily and that can really help people make a decision about purchasing from you is to include a video walkthrough or a sneak peek of the product or service or program that you're actually selling. Now these are great because it brings it to life for people. So it's not just a concept that they're promised or a digital product that they can't actually see. It really brings it to life because they can see what's in there and it removes doubt and puts their mind at ease that what they're getting is worth the value that they're shelling out. So let me show you how I would do that very quickly and easily in Canva. So on the next page of this website, I've just included a text block on the left hand side here where I've just added a list of what would be included in this product that I'm telling them about. And then what I've done is in Canva's graphics library or elements library, I have just searched for laptop and I've gone to frames and I've chosen the one that I want and pulled it directly into this page. Now once that's done, all I have to do is click and drag a video into this frame. I've uploaded a couple of examples of sales pages that are going to be for sale on my website. And so I'm just going to click and drag one of those into this frame and you'll see it's there and it starts playing automatically for them. And it just brings the product to life. Now, of course, if you have a walkthrough and you need them to hit play and actually watch it for a little bit longer, you can do exactly the same thing. It will auto play without sound. And if they hit the play button itself, it will then play with sound. A couple of things to remember. Obviously with a Canva sales page, when someone is viewing it on mobile, Canva will resize everything to fit for mobile. So bear in mind that the video could be quite small if somebody views it on their mobile, especially if you've uploaded it and brought it into Canva that way because they won't be able to make it full screen to view if we've done it that way. So just make sure that when you're showing people things, they're not reliant on seeing it too closely um, so that if they are actually viewing it on their mobile, they still get a good feel for what you're doing, um, but it doesn't make it difficult for them to see. So number five in our ways to use video on your sales page is one of my favorites. And this is where you can include a welcome message or a personal message from you to the people that you're selling to. Now for me, this is one of the best ways that you can use video on a sales page because I still think that human connection is so important for a sales page, especially when we spend so much time browsing and shopping for things online. Feeling like there is some kind of human behind it makes people want to buy, but also makes them feel secure in their purchase. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you could do this um, just using Canva. 
I've added another slide, which is just a little welcome message, and it says a short video message from me. And I've added these graphics and recolored them just from Canva's Elements Library. So for this one, I thought it would be really nice for us to do a video in a different format. So what I'm gonna do is just in the Elements box, I'm gonna search for mobile frame and see what comes up. Um, and if I scroll down here to the frame section, you'll see that there is actually a mobile phone that I can drop in here. Now I want to overlay it over these graphics um, and I'm gonna angle it a little bit just to add a bit of interest. And actually these graphics at the bottom, I wanna to bring to the front. So I'm gonna use Canva's position tool, which now allows us to see layers. Um, and I'm gonna pull that one above the mobile phone frame, just so that it adds a little bit of interest and a little bit of depth to it. For this, you could just record a video on your phone and this upload it immediately into Canva and add it here. So it doesn't have to be something that's professionally produced or a whole production. It can just be something that you record that's a really heartfelt message to them and just makes them connect with you and get to know and like you. So I recorded a video earlier and I've uploaded it into Canva and I'm just gonna click and drag it from my upload section into that frame and you'll see it fits immediately and it plays. Now that's literally just recorded on my mobile phone without any editing and just imported into Canva. So you could do exactly the same thing and it wouldn't take you long and it would really make a big difference for people to get to know you. Of course, one of the things about these kind of messages is that we want to make sure that people actually listen to the message. So a lot of the other videos that we've included, it doesn't really make a, a huge amount of difference if they have sound on, but we want people to make sure that they actually click the little icon and listen to this video. I'm going to go into elements and I'm going to search for sound on, have a look at what graphics are available, and I'm going to drop this little animated one in here. I'm going to change the colors so that it matches the branding that I have on this page, resize it, and then I think what I'm going to do is just drop in a circle behind it in white so that it really stands out and looks like an icon. And again, I'm going to use the position function to put it behind that. And there you can see I've just added this little icon which gives people the information that they need that this has sound. So if we have a look at that and we preview it in the um, Canvas sales page preview, here is the welcome message. And you can see how quickly and easily that just comes to life and looks really, really engaging. If we look on mobile view at the beginning, you'll see this has resized this section really nicely, but it doesn't clash with the text. On the next one, these have stacked. So these are just as they would be. And on this one, it's stacked those three videos. So top to bottom, left to right, and they're just as easy for somebody to hit play and to play on their mobile. Scrolling down to the walkthrough, you'll see that again, it's stacked these two sections and the video is here, which plays through, but you can see what I mean about it being a bit smaller than it is on desktop. So keep that in mind when you're creating that video. Scrolling down to this first welcome message, again, it stacked the left and right hand elements of this um, section of the sales page, but it's still got the video here and it plays in that frame just as we want it to. Let's go back to the sales page and I will show you another way that I created one of these welcome messages. So this one, I just used some retro elements from the Canva elements or graphics library. And again, I've just used one that's got a frame already in there. And what I'm gonna do is just go again to my uploads, pick a video that I uploaded before, which is just a clip from one of my previous tutorials, click and drag it in, and you'll see it plays there as well. I can do the same thing about bringing the uh, sound on icon down just by copying and pasting it here so people can see that there needs to be sound on here. And these elements are all individual elements from Canva that I have just placed here from the Canva library. And the great thing about Canva is that the video will play behind these elements when we preview it, which is a really great effect and just adds so much interest to the page. If we preview on mobile, you'll see it has stacked the text first and then the video and again, it just looks really, really cute and it's really easy for people to engage with and get a message from you rather than reading loads of words. So those are just a few ways to include video on your Canvas sales page to help with conversions and to get more audience engagement and get people to click on that buy button. If you haven't done so already, please download my free Canvas sales page pack 
It's a full Canva sales page template, and in that template I've included a number of places where you could include video for backgrounds, as well as video messages, and also testimonials. So those are all in that template, and you can download it for free using the link in the description below the video, or that's on the screen right now. And if you do download it, please let me know whether you use it and how you find it, because I would love your feedback on it so I can create more resources that are of use to you. That's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for being here. I hope it was helpful. Please let me know in the comments if there are any other things you'd like me to create tutorials on, any other features of Canva that would be useful. I'd really love to create things that are useful and of value to you um, and help make your lives easier. So thanks again for joining me. Have a fantastic day.